Welcome to Digital Asset News to get top stories in crypto and bring down a bite-sized pieces. So today it's all about Cardano and what is going on. So first up, uh, $30 billion worth of Cardano has over 70% of the supply staked ahead of the major upgrade. And the major upgrade they're talking about is smart contracts. So we'll take a look at what is going on as top of how that actually compares to the other top cryptos that you can stake and uh, earn yield. So we'll take a look at those types of things. And then we'll take a look at uh, just how much is actually locked up as far as Ethereum goes, because that ETH 2.0 side is just one part of the story. And then uh, I'm going to go through real quick about how easy it is to actually stake Cardano. And to me, it perplexes me as to why people still haven't staked their Cardano because it makes it so simple. Never even leaves your wallet. There is no slashing rewards. You can delegate, undelegate. And uh, I'm just going to show you like in two minutes how easy it is. And then uh, we'll also take a look at a bit of a charity, which uh, is one of the promises that we have here at DNU. So we'll take a look at all those things. But first, take a look at what's going on into the market. So today it is uh, 5th of July. It's kind of like a mini holiday here in America. A lot of people are off, but uh, I'm still working. That's just how it works, how it goes. And uh, today, the market's working as it gets a little bit, a uh, little, little pullback, a little dump, whatever you want to call it. And uh, the market cap's at 1.4 trillion. So uh, today's a red day. Yeah, you know, usually it was the weekends, and now it's migrated to Monday or Tuesday, and that's fine. I don't really care uh, the, the daily swings back and forth. I'm not a big trader. So if we're at 1.4 trillion and things are in the red, eh, whatever. It, it is what it is. So let's just uh, let's just do this and break into this uh, story about how 70% of Cardano has actually staked. So this is a good one from Crypto Globe. And it just pretty much lays it out very simply. It said, look, uh, according to Pool Tool and a lot of different other uh, information sites out there, almost 72% of ADA's circulating supply is now staked across 2600 plus pools d news being uh two of them a total of 672,000 addresses are staking their funds in cardano and uh it does fall up and say look even though there's a lot of things being staked as far as cardano because in my humble opinion they really made it so simple to do just and i'm going to show you how how easy it is i just don't understand why that 70 percent is staked why isn't the rest of it staked? Because like all this is just a couple of clicks of a button. Anyhow, uh, Ethereum, you have to remember, uh, they're still trying to roll out the ETH 2.0, the uh, proof of stake work, maybe, you know, another, another year or so, but you can still stake it. It's just that you have to be uh, made aware that uh, it leaves your wallet, uh, it, it's in these providers, and if they're not up and they're doing some kind of nefarious, you're gonna get slashing rewards, or you're gonna get your rewards slashed, excuse me, which means they're gonna actually be reduced or completely taken away. And it's a little bit cumbersome. And when I went through the whole rigmarole of that, I was like, nope, I'm not doing that. I just keep my, my uh, uh, Ethereum on either my ledger or on uh, three or four different exchanges just kind of scattered around. That's how I do things. Uh, but there is 12 billion. Uh, Solana uh, has 10 billion and Polkadot just over 10 billion as well, uh, as far as like 10, 10 billion dollars worth. And I think this will actually increase as time moves forward and people can understand that, hey, um, I don't have to do all these like selling and trading and different things. I can just buy a bunch of crypto. I can secure the network and I can stake it and make a lot of money. Uh, the amount staked on Cardano has been rising ahead of the launch coverage. Of course, you know, in August, we're going to see some smart contracts. And uh, this leads me to a couple of points. First of all, uh, this is a great website called Staking Rewards. You can take a look at this exact same statistics that we took a look at. You can also find this here as far as like, you know, uh, let me pull this over so you can see it. The total staked section right here, you got 70% Cardano. Ethereum is only five. Solana 67. That's pretty good. Really good. Uh, Polkadot. I'm waiting for Mike the Investor to make that video for me so I can figure out how to stake Solana. Uh, Algorand's 51%. Binance Smart Chain, uh, 59, 70% for Cosmos, holy smokes. And then Avalanche running out of the top 10, but there's more if you wanna view all the assets. I just don't have time. So, I mean, it's making a lot of sense of like, you know, why people wanna stake because it's just, you know, it's just a, a multiple stream of revenue and pretty easy stuff. On top of that, the question then becomes, well, uh, well, if it's only 10 billion that's locked up in the staking, what about the rest? Where is the other stuff? Well, you gotta remember though, is that Ethereum is crushing it as far as DeFi. Everything's built on Ethereum. All the developers are working on Ethereum, not all of them, but I mean a lot, and they're way ahead of everybody. So you have to look at the total value locked in DeFi is 54 billion. Then the question is, but these are different projects, Rob. Well, that's true, 
But you have to understand that, uh, and let me pull this up again so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, see where the, for Aave, it's a multi-chain. Curve is, is the chain is Ethereum. Instadap, Ethereum Makers, Ethereum Compound, Ethereum Uniswap is Ethereum. All different chains are based on, built on Ethereum. You can just, there's a lot. I mean, that's it. It's all Ethereum. So when people talk about, you know, these Ethereum killers, yeah, it'll, it's a, it'll take a lot to kill Ethereum because it's here. First mover advantage, there's debates about that, but I still think it's gonna do well. And that's why I hold Ethereum and Cardano. And I don't really care which one wins because, you know, I'm just I'm just here to be the cheerleader and just to give you the news. That's the big thing. But uh, people will say stuff like this. They'll say, well, Rob, why do you even in the Cardano? Because there's nothing on it. It's vaporware. It's a, it's a ghost chain. Nobody builds on it and it doesn't do anything. Well, ghost chain is debatable. No one's built on it is, uh, is untrue. We've seen a lot of different products being launched. One of my favorite ones, World Mobile Token and Meld coming out. Um, so things are being built on it, but you understand Ethereum's like way ahead. That's why this is all speculation. All this stuff is speculation. So you just have to understand that, yes, uh, this is what is going on. And uh, yes, this is, uh, you know, it's it's a long play in all, in all honesty. So all these rewards that we're talking about uh, really is uh, just what you can actually get into it. So that's the, the whole part of it. I think we're going to do well, especially with smart contracts coming up. So let's talk about this. Uh, how do we stake? How do we actually do this? Because it, to me, it's it's brain dead easy, honestly. So here's my Daedalus wallet. So just so you know, you can use Daedalus, Yolroy, or Adalite. Uh, Adalite and Yolroy, you don't have to download the whole entire blockchain, which takes a long time, but Daedalus you do. I just like Daedalus because it's really easy to use and I have my uh, my private keys. I do have to download the whole chain. It takes a little, bit of, uh, a little bit of time in the beginning, but once you start it up, it only takes a couple of minutes after, after that. So see on the left-hand side right here, we got, uh, that's my new wallet I made just for this video. And I put in 100 ADA. And then on the left, also the left-hand side, you got these, there's like this little cube looking thing. Then you got a little voting uh, icon there. If you click on that, you can vote on things. We have to download a, an app. And so, and then of course the settings right here. So what I'm gonna do, let me, let me uh, minimize this just a little bit, is I want to uh, show you the stake pool. So on the left-hand side, if you wanna delegate, this is how it is. You just download uh, Daedalus, and uh, I will link that in the description. You just, you know, you go to a specific website, IOHK, Daedalus, very simple. Download it to your computer, PC, Mac, whatever else. You open it up, and then, uh, you know, you can, you you send over your, your, your ADA in a very simple way. And then if you want to delegate, this is how easy it is. So see, we've got that, where is it here? On the left-hand side, the little cube looking thing. So let's search for a stake pool itself, right? Well, I'm very biased, so I'm gonna look for DNews. There it is, DNews. And then we can click on that and we can we can delegate. But let's just say like that is that makes sense, right? DNews. But how about this? Let's go, let, let me look for hash, like like Hashoshi's uh, stake pool. If I put in hash, there's hash, H4 hash, quark, M hash. Well, how do I know which one is actually Hashoshi's? Well, if I click on the hash one here, it says the perfect visionary Cardano stake pool hash value. I don't know what that is. That doesn't make sense. And then hash 575. Okay, this one's the official Hashoshi stake pool as seen on the YouTube series, Crypto Over Coffee. And then there's this website. So, okay, I'm gonna delegate uh, to this pool. And it's gonna ask me, okay, first you gotta do your wallet, then you gotta do the stake pool, then delegation confirmation. Okay, continue. So I'm going to choose my wallet, click on that. And I'm gonna click on continue. And then it says right here, you have selected H4SH to delegate to new Dan Walks. I've got a hundred whopping ADA in there. And then it says this, or select a stay cool from the list of all stay votes. I don't wanna do that. I've already picked the one. I don't know why it does that on a second time, but whatever. So I'm gonna click on continue. And then there's a fee, 0 0.16. There's a deposit fee of two ADA, just so you know. And I'm gonna do my spending password, super secret key here, and something like that. And I'm gonna click confirm. Great, and the stake from your wallet, Dan New Wallet, is now delegated to the uh, Hashoshi stake pool. Your new delegation preferences are now posted, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna close that. So now, as you can see, I'm delegating to three different stake pools and different wallets. Uh, I delegate to my DNews one, obviously, and I got hash and then meld, which we already talked about uh, why that is. So yeah, on our side, we have our, our different wallets. Here's the summary. I've got 107 ADA. I already sent uh, two over just a little bit ago. 
and uh, let's see, 180 was already put in. So yeah, so I've got that. I've also got uh, uh, 1,012 tomato coins in here. Watch out. And then I can send it to anywhere I want to. Just paste an address, uh, whatever uh, credential address that it is. If you want to receive, all you got to do is just come over here to receive. You click on share. And then you click on copy the address and then you put that into uh, whether you've got a Coinbase or Voyager or Cel or where, wherever you have it. I know you don't have it on Celsius yet. Wherever you have it, then it'll actually uh, be sent over to this wallet. This is send and receive. And then of course you just uh, delegate like we just talked about. So super simple. And if you're looking at if you're looking at for something like like super duper easy, just to like uh, you know talk about how this actually works, all you got to do is I got this great website. It's called DanTeachesCrypto.com. And uh, in all of my videos, uh, like this one right here, if you scroll down, uh, it'll say like it'll say Dan Cardano Stake Pool right here. It's got this big blue diamonds, and there's a uh, you just click on that. That'll take you to my actual website. And the website, there's a video that'll pop up. It's about 20 minutes or so, and it'll it'll go down to like how you stake the very basics, why it is, how it is, how we compare and everything else. And uh, and, and of course, uh, all the different epics that, that are uh, and how that all gets paid out over time. So check that out. And then lastly, I just want to make mention of uh, we here at DNews, what we, tr we try to do is uh, is do charity because, you know, you want to do good, you want to do well, right? Do well, then do good. So for uh, Kiva, it's uh, giving micro loans to different people throughout the globe to help them out. And what's great about that is that it's not just like charity where you don't know, like it's just a black hole and just disappears. Uh, they actually do uh, payback. So over time, as we keep making these loans to people, we'll get bigger and bigger and we'll keep making the loans and it'll just be a big snowball effect. So who knows what we'll be in like 10 years. So pretty cool. So uh, if you sign up, uh, we have a team, Digital Asset News team. Again, there is a link. Let me see if I can find it here. It's a little bit too big, but uh, help others through micro loans. Why I recommend and give, and I talk about why I give to Kiva. And here's the link for the actual uh, group or Dan group over there. And then when you go in through Kiva and you sign up, it's gonna just it's gonna ask you like, well, how do you want to do this? And uh, you can sign up for the Digital Asset News team. And we've got 120 bucks back. That's pretty good. And we've already. Gosh, we've already given almost 1600 bucks. And then when you go through the loans, you can just pick who you want to give your loans to out. And then of course they do a uh, little micro loans back. So what I try to do is find ones that are going to make the biggest impact. So I just scroll through, I go, eh, da, da, da. I like these ones, research, loans with research backed impact. And it'll give you a bunch of them. And what it like, some people are like, Hey, we just need, you know, more seeds for our farm. And that's our industry. Okay. Well, I can get behind that. Or we need more. Uh, textiles for this small business that we have in our village. Great, I can give that. I'm behind that. So today I'm like four weeks behind. We try to give 100 ADA every single week, and uh, so that would be it's like 600 bucks. So because that like ADA is like a dollar 40. So what I did was I just went through, and I just gave to these one, two, three, four, five, actually six for 100 bucks each, and. Uh, there's the order confirmation and it goes to them. And again, I, I think over time it'll do uh, pretty good stuff. It's just, uh, just takes a little bit of time to get the ball rolling. And then maybe if you wanna do something like that, uh, go right ahead. But if you donate to DNews or stake with DNews, that's what we do. So look, uh, that is it. And I wanna make mention, oh man, I forgot to do this. Last thing is Grayscale. So yesterday in the video, we had talked about uh, the Grayscale uh, Bitcoin Trust that was uh, going to be um, the, an unlock schedule. I didn't explain myself the, the best way possible. So just so you know, uh, for Grayscale, Grayscale never sells their Bitcoin ever. It is just, it's like an ETF without being an ETF, so, which makes me wonder what's gonna happen when an ETF actually gets approved, which I think it actually will be soon. So this unlock period is where all the people that had invested into Bitcoin, this trust, uh, they're able to to unlock and then realize their gains and then sell off uh, the shares of the Bitcoin trust. And that's really all it is. But it does create pressure. There's an arbitrage opportunity and all this great stuff. Uh, so sure. But uh, to me, it's not it's another one of those uh, small time things that are just it's going to affect the market. Uh, could could be major, could be small. But in the grand scheme of things over the next five to 10 years, not a big deal. And you're going to see maximum amount around 18 through 20 July. And then uh, once August hits, I think that's when we're going to see most of the fireworks. So that's it. 
Didn't explain it well enough. Sorry, uh, but I try to get it right. And that's it for today. So look, if you uh, made it all the way in, thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, also, look for all those links in the description. Give the video a like if you liked it. Consider subscribing. And that's all for today. Thanks so much. See you on the next one.